afternoon. This morning, I attended to my class at home since it's high tide, so I still waited for the water to subside before I go to school. And so for this afternoon, my class will be in oral communication in context. So before I give you the lesson for this afternoon, uh, let me give you first the objectives that uh, we are supposed to have for this particular lesson. The first one is define communication and identify the nature of communication. Before we move further, what can you say about these pictures? Well, these pictures gave you an idea about the nature of communication. What comes into your mind when you hear the word communication? What is communication? Well, I have already discussed about the importance of communication in my previous lesson. Before we proceed, Let's have this first. Communication comes from the Latin term communicare, which means share or to have something in common. It is the exchange of thoughts, feelings, expressions, and observations among people. There is a wide variety of contexts and situations in which communication can take place. First, it can be a face-to-face -face discussion or interaction, phone conversation, group discussion, a meeting, an interview, and so on and so forth. We are under a very extraordinary situation nowadays. COVID-19 has brought great challenges on us. Have you ever expected that our way of learning will be like this? It is very unusual. Although we are socially distanced, I can still deliver messages either verbally or non-verbally. What is a verbal communication? What about non-verbal communication? Verbal communication is the use of words or phrases to transmit information. Whereas non-verbal communication refers to the use of sign languages or other forms of gestures. Communication has many other forms. It does not only focus on talking wherein words are used, even sign languages. Now, let's move on to the nature of communication. What are some of the nature of communication? Communication is a process. This means that communication among people is active and it is a continuing condition of life. Communication requires creativity. The second one is communication can be expressed through written or spoken words, actions or nonverbal, or both spoken words and nonverbal actions at the same time. The third nature of communication is communication occurs between two or more people, the speaker and the receiver, just like what we have now. I am the speaker and you are the receiver. That's all for today, my dear students.